This video tutorial is to demonstrate how to check out books at the Brookview Library to your students. Review real quick. We will go to Destin, whoops, if I can type right, destiny.warren.k12.in.us. This will come up. We go to Brookview, log in, and mine is a little bit different of a sign in. So I asked Rachel if I could log in as her. So thank you, Rachel, for allowing me to do that. I'm going to log in so it looks the same as yours. And we've gone through the catalog tab already. And so today we're going to go over the circulation tab. So going over to the circulation. From the previous video tutorial, uh, I showed you on the desk where the scanner was and the barcode list. This barcode binder list is updated once a week. Uh, so this is where you can have access to a listing of your students. It's divided by uh, grade level and then alphabetically by the teacher's name. And when it's printed out, I didn't want to have the student's name here, so this is just a blank one, but your student's names will be all listed here. Your name will be at the top up here, and then your students will be by last name in ABC order, um, and most of the classes have two sheets, front and back. So we are going to go over where things are um, and how to get those two things checked out, or one or two books that you have that your students check out. There are two different ways that you can do this. In both circumstances, you'll always go to the circulation tab and you'll always make sure that the check out um, button is chosen. You can either check out by patron or by homeroom. First, we're going to show you how to go to patron. So by patron, um, I I'm going to share this with you, so this will be the, the written directions, um, but when you have the patron, this is when you're going to be using the binder. The homeroom is updated daily by technology, so it is uh, more up to date, uh, but it does sometimes take a little bit longer to check things out, but it's really a personal preference, so I wanted to show you both ways, and you can do either way, by the binder or by the um, homeroom. So let's go over the patron first. So you're going to be making sure the to patron is highlighted, and then after that, you're going to open the binder, find your name, and find the name of the student. So this has um, the all of your students on it, so I am going to scan the barcode. So the student comes up. You want to verify that it is the correct student. After that, you want to scan the barcode. So the barcode, there's two barcodes. One is the um, to purchase, but the one that you're going to use has the Brookview Elementary on the book. So you'll take your scanner and you will scan the book, verify the name, scan the book. And then most of them have pictures to the side. Some of them do not, but you just want to verify that the correct book is with the correct person. If the student has an overdue book, then you'll get a message that says that uh, they cannot check out a book. Um, and then they can use one of the X out books. So that's how you do by patron. Next, I wanted to show you how to do it by homeroom. Same type of situation. So you're going to make sure you're at circulate the circulation tab, check out, but this time you're going to go to buy home room and then you click on your name. So you scroll down and there you are, Rachel. And then you'll choose that person's name and say select patron. I'm not going to do it here because I don't want our student's name um, up on the video, but then you'll just click select patron and all the students names will be on here. You'll click on that student name and then you will check out the book just like uh, you did um, when we had the to patron. So you'll just find your name, select patron, select the student, and then scan the book. So that's how you check out books. There are two different ways using the circulation tab, check out by either patron using the binder or by homeroom. Um, they will be all up on the screen and then you check out the book using the barcode listed as Brookview Elementary. If you have any questions, email tmartin, T-M-A-R-T-I-N, 